Ciao. Ciao. Where are we, girls? We're in We're Florence. Florence. We're here visiting Julia. What are we gonna do, Julia? Eat, yep. drink, be merry. Andiamo allora. Facciamolo! We're at Eno Sandwiches, Eno Panino. This is Eno, we're at his shop. What are we gonna try? Allora, we'll try the most popular, il solito, with prosciutto toscano, pecorino cheese yes. from Maremma, tapena, tapena is a spread of olive, tuna and capers, oh, that's and expensive. lettuce. The other one is Ale, Ale because my name is Alessandro, and then Ale, with finocchiona, finocchiona is the typical yes. meat of Tuscany. This is fresh salami with fennel seeds inside. Yum. Pecorino cheese and the jam of red pepper, a little bit sweet. They look incredible. Look at this jam. It's a really crunchy bread. More to Della. Sarah, give me yours. No. Give me that. I love this mm -hmm. one. Give me that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. it's like a tuna omelet. Yeah. Like a tuna yeah. omelet. With lettuce. This yeah. is pecorino. And the, I don't know how to say the meat, but it's like a salami. Finocchiona. Finocchiona is the typical yes. meat of Tuscany. Whoa. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Look who we ran into getting sandwiches. Look. Look who it is. <laughs> we just finished our first stop in Florence and we're gonna wait for this tour to go by. We got a few. You know, you know, say that yeah. three times fast. We got a few different ones and I think the winner was this Soft cheese meat with this like uh, spicy pepper jam, red pepper, honey. Mustard. Yep. And who do we see there? Jeff Goldblum. Yep. So we'll put a clip of him. But this place is great. So put a clip of him. It's you putting the clip. <laughs> it's me telling myself. I'll put a clip of him. <laughs> and every ingredient is just so fresh. He hand so selects fresh. everything. The mentor definitely also liked it. Tea. Look at that tea timer. Look at so how cute, cute this is. I guess it's illegal for me to have a latte right now. It's like one o'clock, but nothing about this feels wrong. Where are we? It all feels right. We're at the Gucci, outside the Gucci Museum, at the Gucci Cafe. Sarah has espresso and that is cool. I'm not breaking the law. I wouldn't say cool, but you know what is cool? Look at these little Gucci sugar packet. How cute is that? We're on the Ponte Vecchio. It's all lined with jewelry stores, and apparently this is the wealthiest bridge in the world. We're headed to lunch at Camilo, which we heard is amazing, and gonna Under eat some Italian food. It's supposed to be underrated, yeah. off the beaten path. Lini with cream, and then the tagliatelle with meat stock. Oh my god, yum. Here we have our artichoke salad with parmesan and olive oil. It looks incredible. And fried zucchini flowers. They have a ton of fried items. Mmm, this is sick. And we got this tortellini and cream sauce. I'm freaking out over the cream. And look at this tagliatelle with meat sauce. It's time. Stop it. Okay, that's a big one. She's not dry. She's so... It's so good. One of the I'm, best things I've ever put in my mouth. No freaking way. I'm gonna... The pasta is al dente. Get a little bit of that pork. It's so creamy. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I think we need to. I want my own. Here we have the chicken breast with butter and sage. Yep, yep. Yep. This is the tortellini cheers. Nothing like an old fashioned tortellini cheer. We get a lunch dessert. Of course, we got tiramisu. Look how beautiful it looks. We just finished our meal. That was magical. Life changing, incredible. Tortellini and cream sauce. Best restaurant meal we've had so That's far. What I was gonna say. Yeah. Best restaurant meal Hi, Mom. so far. Oh, I don't be the tagliatelle meat Madison, sauce. Was Madison has Parmesan in, in, in her, her camera, camera lens. <laughs> that's that's how you know it was a good meal. If you're in Florence, I think this is a must hit. I don't know 
how true this is. Like everyone says it's like an anti-tourist trap because it's like off the beaten path, but mm -hmm. it was pretty, it was popping, but there were like locals eating there, which oh, says yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot but it's definitely not like unknown. I'm sure people are gonna be like, yes, uh, I know, know about it. Know. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello. We just had some drinks at the One hotel. Sense. We're in Firenze. We are going to the most requested restaurant that we have heard about in Florence, I've been. La Giostra. Julia's been. I love it. They have the famous pear ravioli. The they famous have everything famous. Florentine steak. steak. And we're just gonna go all in. So we're walking there now. We are at La Giostra in Firenze, Italia. And it's just like the vibes are so comfortable and family like. And all I wanna do is put on a blanket and. Stracciatella burrata situation that everyone says is phenomenal. In keeping with the grapefruit theme, yep. a salad with balsamic, walnuts, some cheese, and grapefruits. I'm coming, I'm coming. Look, look, look. We're gonna put it right here. Where? You yeah. clip it. Clip it on your necklace. There you go. So Are you gonna you me? Yeah. Okay, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Where? Well, tell us. Come on. This is your spot, right? Uh, yeah. In theory, yes. This is the ravioli with the famous cheese. Ravioli. The famous pear ravioli. She came in the morning and showed up to me. My father made up the recipe. Really? When did you open? I opened in 91. Really? Yeah. It's been a while. This is the pasta with the tomatoes and mozzarella. We have the famous pear ravioli. We had to get two, of course. We got this pomodoro. Small little one here left for anybody who wants. Perfect combination of creamy and peri and buttery. It's like it melts in your mouth, and it's all I could ever want. Hear me out. It's kind of like the sweet cheese from a blend. We have the famous Florentine steak. As you can tell, it's famous because it is pretty much 60 seconds on each side, and we're gonna dive in. Steak is my favorite food, so it's let's true. see how this adds up. Salty, buttery. Oh my god. That's all. As if we aren't full enough, we made some room for dessert. We have a warm chocolate cake and a like tiramisu glob that just looks like a pillow of beauty. Carly, go! Go, Carly, go! Go, Carly, go! Go, Carly, go! Yes, yes. It holds up to the hype. Holy moly. Like the best top five meal of my life. The best, best steak. steak. So special. And I will say it again, steak is my favorite food and that just pear ravioli. So, so special. I would disagree with anyone that says it's a tourist trap and like overhyped. I think it was, as people who eat everywhere all over the world, it absolutely holds up. Go and here. the owner himself I was is gonna say a that. hoot. He's got 80 Medium. pounds of bracelets on him. Tess is here. <laughs> Look who we got. Uh, Bow. Man the myth. Bow. The legend. You crush it. The legend. You crush it. I crush it? What yes. I crush? Crushed Speaking it, of everything. legends, okay, so what do you have to say? Love you forever, princess. Thank Good morning. We did a mini pastry crawl this morning. Strawberry, a cream. You're in it too. Join. Cheers. Cheers. And the strawberry croissant. This looks incredible. Oh, can you really like that? Mm hmm. Looks like a toaster strudel. Oh my god. It was perfect. The warm custard pastry was delicious. The strawberry croissant was absolutely beautiful and a perfect latte. You stand at the bar. Yep. With an espresso, and it's we're Italians now. We're Italians now. We'll do one slice of the spinach. These? Yes. Mm 
like. 13 Gabi for lunch, mm -hmm. which is known for the creamy, cheesy rigatoni with pomodoro. Yep. That'll be a light lunch though, because we have a very big dinner. And maybe we'll get some fine leather goods later. And there's the little, there's the little lad. Chin chin. So we have the famous rigatoni with a cheesy sauce. Oh. Or as they say in Italian, trattoria tricente. I honestly don't know. It's 13 in Italian. And overall, it was really good, except the one that stood out to us was the rigatoni with um, tomato sauce and mozzarella. That was really good, but nothing else was over the top. Everyone says to come here for the rigatoni, and it's definitely worth it, but all the other dishes kind of fell flat. The girls got jackets. Show them off from Massimo Leather. Removable for oh, removable. Removable in liner. And yeah. across the street, I got everything. a belt. Okay, thank you. We are at Pizzeria de Michele, made famous by the movie Eat, Pray, Love. Shout out Julia Roberts. Established in 1870, we are getting ourselves a beautiful margarita with cheese and then a lovely tomato without cheese. They have many locations. We had no idea there was one in Florence, but there's one in New York City, and we've had it, and we love it. And Manja. Pizza, pizza. Oh, Classic cheese margarita, and then we got their tomato pie with the garlic and the oregano, and oh my god, the oil. Good? As advertised. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Is it good? That's the extent of my Italian. Delicious. Delicioso. We are at Mercado Central, and we're not really eating food here, but we did have to get some beautiful strawberries, and we also got some grapes, just because look at the produce, it looks amazing. We are at Mavolian, Florence, to try the most stunning affogato we've ever seen. So cool. Yeah. So just you're That's so good, good at that. You need something else? No. <laughs> Not one of the most beautiful affogato I have ever seen. Can you see this? Look at that. It is just a like artistic culinary dream. But I don't Wow. This is the best. It's, I don't even know if I could call this affogato. This is like... It's, it's not like any affogato. It's not, yeah, yeah, it's not like any affogato you can get in America. The custard is just, it's just beyond vanilla ice cream. It tastes above and beyond. This is the best dessert I've had in Italy. And I know that's a bold statement, folks. Just to give him some credentials, Papa Snacking has minimum four cups of coffee a day. So he's a coffee expert. We're about to try Il Giova in Firenze, Italia. And I've never been. <laughs> Can't wait to see how the pasta so, measures up. Yeah, we yeah. we uh, actually had a family, a friend of a friend recommend it to our, our dad and what? raved about it. Ellie has loaded up her bread with burrata, anchovy, and truffle egg. Perfect. I got the truffle pasta. I believe that's white truffle. And Madison got the red sauce spaghetti with burrata. Um, and Carly got the ragu. We just had dinner. And I want to be in it. It definitely felt like an offbeat and path kind of place. It felt like we were the only tourists in there. The pastas are what really shined. It really felt like you were in Anona's kitchen and it's exactly yes. Yes. like I would, if I lived alone in Florence, I would go for a glass of wine and a fat bowl of perfect pomodoro and that is uh, all you need. It's so simply perfect. Don't roll please. And Tess is here. You can make this it is my favorite flavor. Camino Reverend Camino Reverend 
on it. Reverendo. And pistachio. So good. Hazel, where's that? Where's Nutella it? and like order? hazelnut yeah. and vanilla and white chocolate and chocolate and I don't know. Milk, milk free. We have all of our sandwiches at Alantico Vanayo in Florence. We're at the OG location. What do we have? The Paradiso, the Tartufo 3 with truffle honey. No, that's that. And the Fabulosa. That's no, that. that's the Fabulosa. This is the Tartufo 3. Yes. <laughs> Trouble, honey. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Buongiorno. We got a bunch of sandwiches. They definitely were good. This was my first time trying them, and I feel like they were really built up. So while they were very good, they were delicious, I kind of had higher expectations. I feel like we're really big sauce girls, and I think they're naturally, like, not so saucy. They're more cheesy, and I wish there was like a drippy sauce. The bread is great, but all the ingredients are phenomenal. So right here is a really awesome leather shop. And if you need a purse, a pocketbook, a wallet, this is it. We are currently waiting for Gusta Pizza. Everyone says it's phenomenal, but there is quite a line. And we did find Guy. We are at Gusta Pizza, the place that everyone says is the best pizza in Florence everywhere. I was absolutely repulsive. No, Carly, do that again. <laughs> Give me that. You could get a ball sack on your pie. Carly, this is the pesto. This is literally what I wanted with the, the pesto broad. Michelin man. <laughs> then we have the classic margarita. We have the calabrese with salami. They don't cut this, right? And we have a calzone. Look So good. We didn't know what to expect because it's very touristy. It has a reputation of being very touristy, but it hit really hard. No, every single person that I know that has studied in Florence, that has been to Florence, says you have to go to Gusta Pizza. It's incredible. It lives up to the hype. Guy Fieri has been there, and we love Guy Fieri. Fieri, I said Fieri. Get the calzone. I was just gonna say. Pizza, pizza. get the calzone. calzone. Yeah, it's delicious pizza, and it it is worth all the hype. It took me eight hours to. Look, we got Daifuku. <laughs> We're in yeah. Italy. Student but... awareness, the obvious. <laughs> <We> strawberries <laughs> look cheap. great. Cheers. Okay. Hi. Hi. Grazie. And Tess is here. Here we are. We are eating at Quattro Leone. We're in Santo Spirito. They have also an amazing pear ravioli, as one says. Our little starter here, we have some prosciutto. It is artichoke and asparagus season, so we have an artichoke starter and asparagus with white truffle and egg. It looks great. The pasta course. We have their signature pear ravioli. We have the rigatoni carbonara and the asparagus risotto. And look at this lasagna. It looks, it came out bubbling. I'm trying the pear ravioli. I like the other one better. I, like I want more pear in this one. The, it's too much pasta. I have a it is a beautiful pasta. I think I love the buttery sweetness of Gagiostra, but this is delicious. I mean, every single bite I've had is delicious. The rigatoni carbonara, really nicely done. The asparagus risotto, it's salty, it's mm. I don't know. Mom is gonna try the Should cheesecake. Ooh. It's good cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Does it taste like yours? Better. <laughs> Great vibe. We had the pear ravioli, which was 
comparable to the other pear ravioli from La Giostra. Didn't hit as hard. Too much pasta, I liked not it. enough pear. Joy Jeez. likes it more. Heaven I like it more. <laughs> Lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the mic. <laughs> Anywho, sorry to sound like a goat. The lasagna I'm, hit. Sorry, really we have a stalker Loved in the lasagna. Italy. We lasagna was definitely the the best bite. Steak, Steak was clean. Lean. Yeah. Oh my god, the potatoes. The lean. Clean, potatoes. lean, and mean. What's your favorite bite of the meal? Oh, the potatoes. Oh, oh. last minute addition. Wow. Don't and forget about the asparagus riz oh, risotto. Yes. Also, the waitress was like my best just, friend. Yeah, best loved friend. her. Really, really made the experience. Really made the experience. Yeah. Now we're gonna go out to the bar with Julia and all her college friends. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. And Tess is here. <laughs> and Tess is here. Me and Mom are gonna do shots of amaretto all night.